All right, guys, it's time for another fabulous episode of What's, What's It, it Good, Good For? And dear Lord, they finally did it. Insert horns here. We finally have a new QU. And with us, we've got Kevin, our Alan Heath rep, also friend of the business, great guy all around. Hey. Kevin, we're glad you're here, and wow. Hey, well, thanks for having me here, um, and I'm really glad I could get one of these to bring here early. I know they've been slowly trickling in, yep. and now we finally have some demo units. And ain't and, she purdy? Yeah. If you have been using the the older generation of Q and then even SQ, when you come look at this, like it's, you can tell it's a completely refreshed product, like from the ground up. So it is new from the ground up. It's this from the not... ground up. Okay. Yeah, so like it's a similar chassis style. It's still very lightweight. There's not a whole lot of bells and whistles on it, but like there's a lot of creature comforts like uh, scribble strips, um, custom fader layers, um, you know, a GEQ button. The screen is, I love the screen. Yeah. Um, they call it liquid glass. And it is. Because, it's awesome. You know, it's a very responsive screen to where when you touch where you want to touch, you're going to get the, re the result that you want. So it's, it's really easy to use. And it's 96K. 96K. We finally brought it into the, the rest of the Allen Heath ecosystem to where now you have a DLive flagship, Avantis, SQ, and now Q. Even the CQ runs at 96K. Yep. Um, but now you can actually hang a Q off of a DLive or an Avantis. So if you wanted to expand your mix from front of house to a youth room or a broadcast room, this can live and receive, live on the network and receive all the same channels from the DLive mm -hmm. at 96K over S-Link. So if you're doing a video room, you have a DLive in your main room, you have a video room, want to bring in audio, now you can do it affordably, have all the control, have all the same audio quality mm -hmm. that you get on the other one. Yeah, and it doesn't have to be the large chassis either. Yeah. So we're, we're on the old Q. Uh, there was, you know, um, the Q16, the 24, and the 32. If you got the 16, it was 16 channels. That's what you got. Yeah, yeah and the 24 was 24. So all of them are 32 channels, well, 38 to mix, if you count all the extra goes in, yes, goes out, yes. Um, but every chassis is 32 channels. You're not just locked, so you can yeah. expand. So if you wanted to hang a tiny little 17 fader desk, you can still mix 32 channels right there. Now, is it a fixed architecture inside? No, it's not. So unlike previous Q, where you either had to use the local input or a remote input, it was either one here or one there, and you couldn't cross patch. This is fully configurable, just like the rest of the Allen Heath ecosystem. So if you want kick in to come in on channel 32, but report back to fader two, you can do that. All you have to do is patch it in your, your IO matrix. As far as other inputs available, um, this is the Dante version, so anything you see with a D is Dante. Um, and this is a very important note, I always like to mention this, the Dante port on the back is a hardware add-on, so if you buy it without Dante, you can't add it later. Yes. So it's only a few hundred dollars more to upgrade with Dante, and that gets you a dedicated Dante port on the back for 16 in, 16 out. Yes. And then there's also a USB-C port on the back for full 32 by 32. So if you want to get all your multi-tracks into your computer, you don't necessarily have to be running Dante Virtual Sound Card anymore. It just shows up yep. as an audio interface. So if you think you might want Dante, just order it that mm -hmm. way. Because you'll have it if you need it. Uh, it's, like he said, not that much more expensive. A few hundred dollars and you get Dante, which is refreshing Dante used to you know oh yeah require selling a body part to be able to afford so they were really big fans of their licenses <laughs> you know, where I see Dante really coming into play with this is like if you already have Dante devices existing on your network mm -hmm. or that corporate client where they're going to be using either like a sure SLXD quad or ULXD duels or quads for the talking heads you yeah. can bring now 16 channels in Dante over a cat cable and then you still have up to 32 inputs via XLR or USB. So the choice is yours. You can come in wherever you want. You can go out to wherever you want. Now this is somewhat of a pre-production model? This is the production model. It is. Yeah, this product is what we'll, we'll be shipping. Well, there's something cool on this. Every microphone input on the back of this, they're all combo jacks. And they're Neutrik combo and they're, jacks. Yes, so that is fan-freaking-tastic in yeah. my book. So if you want to run a bass or a guitar or anything, just straight DIN, you can do that on all 32 inputs. So I know a big question with churches on this, how many in-ear mixes can you do on this? Depends Plus, you have your left and right 
out. And sure. Depending on the configuration, so you've got 12 flexible mixes right here, and these are all sends on fader, you know, just like we've all accustomed to. Um, you can actually take the first six and you can make them stereo. So right now they're paired, one, two, three, four, and then these are all stereo mixes down here. So a total of nine stereo in-ear mixes out of this console. Plus your left and right. Plus your left and right, plus okay. four mono matrices. So this is going to fit for tons of churches that aren't your mega church, but yep. want to run in-ears, do all that stuff. You can get plenty of in-ears off this thing. Yeah, I mean, this is really aimed at the small to medium churches, you know, thousand seats or less, mm -hmm. that they either have like an aging digital platform that they're looking to come out of, or they're still in analog world. This kind of bridges that gap because nothing's hidden in layers. Nothing is crazy to get to. Like, You've got your preamp, your gate, your filter, all your EQ is right there on the front. So you basically just select a channel and then you can start editing the parameters, you know, right there without having to dig through a bunch of, you know, different things on the touch screen. And I can tell you from being just your regular Joe, it really is easy. Everything's actually easier than you'd think to the point where you look at it, it's like, oh, it's right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So that's nice. Digital console hiccups, you know, we get on some of them and it's like, hang on, let me get the manual out. Well, let me sleep with it th for three days and yeah. then maybe I'll understand exactly how this works. This one seems to be right in your face and easy mm -hmm. to go. Yeah, so. like I went to a conference last week and we were using, I won't name the brand of console, but I couldn't find the preamp uh, anywhere. <laughs> I had to call, I had to phone a friend and he was like, oh, you have to go to layer seven and then hit shift and then it appears. And I was like, cool. Um, but like this one, you hit select, there's a preamp control right there. Right there. So like it, it's very much a touch and turn point and shoot kind of thing. If you think you can do it, you probably can. Um, it, and when they rewrote the, the software for the screen, it follows now the same moniker from DLive to Avantis. So you can see the input that you're adjusting and then the bus that you're mixing to is always on the top left and the top right. And if you think you want to rename it, chances are you can probably tap up there and then you can get right to the name. Just one more element of everything being in the same ecosystem. Yeah, exactly. You know, use one, you have a general idea how to use the other. So, very cool. Well, if you were going to, what is the, the biggest thing about this, if you're going to say the, the, the feature that made you really happy when they came out with it? The flexibility and the sound quality. Because now we're using the same mix engine from DLive and Avantis and SQ that a lot of people have already got to know and love, and that is now living in the queue. So sound quality number one, flexibility number two, gone are the days of only having to have like kind of two pre-configured layers and maybe a custom layer to where now there's four completely customizable layers that you can have access to. Everything is sends on fader. We have four dedicated effects uh, soft keys right here but there's actually six effects engines. So if you want to route another effects engine to maybe you know, mix you know, 11 or 12, you can do that. So you can have up to six, uh, up to six at all one time. Nice. There's eight soft keys. So you've got six up here, two down here. So you can make these your tap tempos like we have right now. Uh, the scribble strips, you know, that was yeah. always like a big, a big ask. Yes. Um, so we've got those now. I mean, overall, it's just, it's been like a joy to work with. For me, it's the fact that this will work with almost anything, Alan and Heath, in and out, all mm -hmm. that kind of stuff, all your uh, stage gear. It's awesome because before everything kind of resided in its own little ecosystem. Yeah, it was. Now everybody's playing together. Yeah, it was very compartmentalized at first, and now it's a true hub and spoke ecosystem. Yeah, which, which is, is awesome. Really, yeah, which is really cool. And this gets you the the entry level into that ecosystem without getting too advanced, like. It does have an extremely powerful I.O. routing matrix, but it's not something that would overwhelm you when you dig into it. Like you're not looking at 300 little tiny squares yeah. and you're having to you know, figure out what to patch to what. I mean, you can literally just select your channel, where you want your input to come from and where you want that to go without having to get too deep in the weeds. And it is super simple. I've seen it, it's like, oh, that makes sense. Yeah, so. and what's crazy is they did all this and this came out, this is the same price point as the old Q. Exactly Minus the Dante. Right. Minus the Dante. Yeah. The Dante adds a little premium. That was to be expected. But the normal like Q5, 6, and 7 are mm -hmm. the same price as the 16, 24, and 32. So if you were even thinking about it, this is a good way to go, period. I mean, I want one. Oh, yeah. I mean, this would be for your, your smaller bands or your, your medium-sized churches. Mm -hmm. This is like a great, a great little console to be able to throw and go anywhere. And they don't weigh anything. No. Like I walked in here with this under my arm. 
And one thing I can say is having owned a lot of Allen Heath gear over, gosh, I guess about 10 years now, it's great. It's rock solid. It works. Yeah. Support's it's, been great. Tech yep. support's been great. Um, I mean, there's there's hundreds of people like me all around the country that are you know, your local resources, and uh, they're expanding the team all the time. So, like, they're easy to get a hold of. And there's a great forum. Oh, yeah. On these that were, I mean, there's serious professionals out there using these that are glad to answer questions, bring up really interesting scenarios. If you can't figure it out, somebody on there will help you figure it out. While we're on that is if you have a feature request, go request it on the forum. Um, I have yet to see any other audio, video, lighting brand where if you make a suggestion and it's a good one and it gets a lot of upvotes, nine times out of ten, it's going to be in the next forum. They'll do it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's that's what started DLive. It is a crowdsourced ecosystem. We are very excited. Uh, these will be available soon, or when you watch this video, they may be everywhere, and you may be able to get one. But uh, we're very excited. We've gotten tons of calls already yeah, about get, this. Get pre-orders in. So, very cool. Well, Kevin, thank you. And, uh, Thanks for having me. We'll be out. Hopefully, we didn't bore you. Hopefully, this is something you'll take with you and be like, wow, my day's been enlightened. So, thanks, guys. See ya.